and welcome to quantitative aptitude video from careerright.com. In this video, we would be discussing problems on probability, which is a very tricky topic asked in various examinations conducted by banks, government bodies and B schools. Now in this video, we would be touching up five different kind of problems. And by the end of this video, you would be in a comfortable position to deal with the problems from chapter probability. So let's begin. There are red color balls numbered 1 to 30 which are mixed up and then a ball is drawn at random. What is the probability that the ball drawn has a number that is multiple of 4 or 7? So the total sample space would be as the balls are numbered from 1 to 30, 1, 2, 3, 4 till 29 and 30. Now the event is we need to draw a ball which should be multiple of either 4 or 7. Now the events would be 4, 7, 8, 12, 14, 16, 20, 21, 24 or 28. Any of these would be event. So the total sample space is 30 which would be NS that is 30 and any of these would be the event which we are looking for. The 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There are 10 events which can be possible. So any would be 10, 10 by 30 which goes up to required probability being 1 by 3. Now second question. A bag contains 3 red, 4 green and 5 blue balls. Two balls are drawn at random. What is the probability that none of the balls drawn is red? Now the total number of balls given are 3 plus 4 plus 5. So the total sample here would be 12. Now we need to find out the probable sample from which the events should be calculated. So the number of ways of drawing two balls out of 12 which the question is saying that two balls are drawn at random from 12 balls would be 12C2. Now in order to calculate 12C2 we know that it is 12 factorial upon 12 minus 2 factorial into 2 factorial. So which would be calculated then it would give 12 into 11 upon 2 into 1. So this goes up to 66. Now the events. Let E is equal to event of drawing two balls none of which is red. So the number of ways of drawing two balls out of four and five. We are leaving behind three because there are three red balls and they said that no ball should be drawn which is red. So we'll leave behind three and we'll only count four and five. So the number of ways of drawing two balls out of left green and blue balls four and five would be 9C2. Similarly we'll calculate and we'll get n is equal to 36. Now the probability would be n upon ns that would be 36 upon 66 and we get the answer as 6 upon 11. Now the third question. Three unbiased coins are tossed. What is the probability of getting at least two tails? So we need to find out every possible chance where at least two tails come up. So firstly we will go on and calculate ns which is the total sample space that would be triple T tail 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 head tail head tail head tail 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 head 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 tail head 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 tail and head 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 now this is the total sample space ns is equal to 8 now event of getting at least two tails so we'll find out every possible chance when there are two tails so 1 2 3 4 we'll leave this we'll leave this we'll leave this and we'll leave this. So there are four chances when they when we get two tails. So that would be n is equal to four. Now to calculate probability we always know that we do it by dividing n e from n s. So four by eight is equal to one by two. That is the answer. Question four. What is the probability of getting a sum of six from two throws of dice? Now in two throws of dice the total samples, sample would be n s is equal to six into six just because in every throw of dice there would be six possible options and doing it two times we get total 36 pairs so the event of getting a sum of six would be in six cases in five cases that would be if we get one or five two or four three or three four or two or five or one so the total cases would be Five, the total sample space is ns that is 36 so 5 by 36 is the answer fifth question now two cards are drawn together from a pack of 52 cards 
the probability that one is jack and one is queen now before attempting this question we need to know that there are four jack and four queen in a pack of card so firstly we'll calculate the sample space we are drawing two cards out of 52 so the sample space would be 52 c2 we know how to calculate ncr that is n factorial upon n minus r factorial into r factorial so here it would be calculated by 52 into 51 divided by 2 into 1 that goes up to 1326 now as i told that there are four jacks and four queens event of getting one jack and one queen would be number of ways of choosing one jack out of four and one queen out of four so 4c1 into 4c1 that would be 4 n is equal to 16 and simply we'll go on and calculate the probability that would be 16 upon 1326 that is 8 upon 663 these are the five kind of problems which you can see from the chapter probability i hope this video would prove useful to you.